Thank you for your interest in the UNH Cooperative Extension Introduction to Bird Identification, Ecology, and Habitats course. I'm Matt Tarr. I'm the lead instructor for the course. And in this short video, I'll highlight some important information that will help ensure you're ready to register for the course. And then I'll walk you through the actual registration steps. My goal here is to help your registration go as smoothly as possible. Here's the important information first. Refer to the course syllabus and schedule. From this point forward, you should be referring to the course syllabus and schedule. This is the document that has the current year and course syllabus and schedule written in red text at the top of the page. This is the document that has the most current and complete course information and the final course trip schedule. Course registration link. The link to register for the course is on the last page of the course syllabus and schedule. That link will open at the time and date indicated for the year you are registering. Every student needs their own email address. Every student must register individually for the course and each student needs their own email address. This means that if you're registering for you and for a partner or for a child, each student you are registering needs their own email address. Can I register only for the online lessons? Yes, you can register to participate in just the online lessons. Similarly, you can register for the course and just participate in course trips, and it's up to you whether you complete the online lesson materials or not. The cost is the same. You'll pay one fee to participate in any or all of the course. Course fee and registration options. One course fee provides you access to online course materials and the option to register for course field trips at no additional cost. There are three registration options for the course. Option one is the basic registration for $60. Option two is the certificate registration for $95. And option three is the I request a scholarship registration that has a sliding scale registration fee. Sign up for the basic registration if you don't want to receive certificates of completion for the course. This registration includes weekly optional lesson review quizzes for which the answers are provided at the end of each quiz. Sign up for the certificate registration if you do want to receive certificates of completion for the course. If you don't know why you need a certificate of completion, then you probably don't need one. People who register for the certificate registration are usually professional foresters or biologists who need to complete continuing education to maintain a license or certification. Some people sign up for the certificate registration simply because they want to receive documentation that they completed the course. If you sign up for certificate registration, you'll receive a certificate of completion for each week of online lessons that you complete and for any course field trips that you attend. To receive your certificate of completion for online lessons, you must complete each week's required lesson review quiz and submit that quiz to me for grading. Some folks sign up for certificate registration simply because they want to take and have me grade this additional quiz each week. The I request a scholarship registration option is a sliding scale registration where you select to pay whatever registration fee you are able to afford. All course registration fees help us cover the costs associated with developing and delivering this course. You will have access to the online course material until the end of the calendar year that you registered for the course. And if you sign up for certificate registration, you can submit quizzes for grading until the end of that same calendar year. Plan to register for the course on the day that registration opens. I plan to admit over 300 students into this year's course, but even so, the course will reach its capacity surprisingly quickly, usually within about 24 hours. Please know that course trips fill very quickly, and many of the trips will be full before the end of the first day of registration. Registering for course trips. Due to high demand for trips, you must be a registered student if you want to participate in course trips. Course field trips are free, but you must register for every trip you want to participate in. When you register for the course, you'll have the option to immediately register for a total of four trips scheduled for the first six weeks of the course. In April, students will have the option to register for an additional four trips scheduled for the last six weeks of the course. Know which course trips you want before you click the registration link. 
The registration system will time out on you if you don't already know which trips you want before you begin. I also encourage you to make a list of alternate trips that you would like to attend in case a trip you wanted is full by the time that you register. Also, if you hope to attend trips with a friend, it's best if you are in the same room when you register so you can make any last minute decisions if a trip you wanted is already full. If you are hoping to attend trips with a friend, you should definitely plan to register as soon as possible on the day that registration opens. Check the trip rating of course trips. When you're selecting course trips, please note that each trip has a trip rating that is based on the difficulty of the terrain we will cover during the trip. The trip rating is the number in parentheses before the location of each trip. Trips rated 1 are stationary trips that occur primarily at a fixed location and involve little or no walking during the trip. Trips rated 2 are smooth walking trips that occur on roadways or smooth wide trails. Trips rated 3 require walking on uneven surfaces such as trails with exposed rocks or roots or with steep trail sections, narrow boardwalks, or they include narrow trails where brushing against vegetation can't be avoided. Trips rated 4 include at least some off-trail walking through forest, shrubland, or fields. Trip Cancellation Policy Please, please, please check your schedule carefully before you register for trips. Only register for trips that you know you can attend, and please plan to attend every trip you register for. I try to make the course as accessible and affordable to as many students as possible. The number of people I can admit into the course is based largely on how many spots are available in trips. If you sign up for a bunch of trips and then end up canceling or not showing up, it means that other students miss the opportunity to participate in trips or in the course altogether. I don't want students to have to pay extra to participate in trips. So rather than charging for trips, I have the following trip cancellation policy. You'll be charged $15 for any trip you register for but don't attend. Failure to pay that fee will result in you being removed from all future trips. Again, any trip you register for and attend is free. But if you register for a trip and you cancel or don't show up, that trip will cost you $15. Registration Instructions I'll now walk you through the steps you will take to register for the course. Reviewing these steps now will help make your registration process go as smoothly as possible. When you're ready to register for the class, click on the Click Here to Register for the Course link that's on the last page of the course syllabus and schedule. This is the first page you'll see. If you've previously registered for a course with us, you'll log back in using your username and password. If you are new to our system, you will enter your first name, last name, and email address. Be sure you enter your correct email address here because this is the address to which all course correspondence will be sent. Next, select your participant type from one of the three options provided. Choose basic registration if you don't want to receive certificates of completion for the course. Choose certificate registration if you do want to receive certificates of completion for the course. Choose I request a scholarship if you want to register with our sliding scale registration fee. After you choose your participant type, indicate whether you plan to participate in the online lessons only or if you plan to also participate in the course field trips. Your answer to this question is very important to me because it helps me determine how many people I can admit into the class. Select online lessons only if you know for sure that you don't plan to participate in course field trips. Select online lessons with field trips if you do plan to participate in course trips. Next, if you selected either the basic registration or the certificate registration as your participant type, you have the option to donate one or more scholarships for other students. In the drop down menu to the left of Option to Donate Scholarship, select the number of $60 scholarships you would like to purchase for other students. Leave the value at zero if you don't want to purchase any scholarships. If you chose online lessons with field trips, you will then select the field trips you want to participate in. Click the Add button to add a trip to your schedule. Please select no more than four trips total. Also, 
please only select one trip to the same location on the same day. For example, on April 5th, 2025, there is a 7.30 to 9.30 a.m. trip to Birch Street Community Gardens and another trip to the same location immediately following at 10 a.m. to noon. When there is an early and a later trip to the same location, please only choose one of those trips. Once you've made your field trip selections, double check to be sure that you don't have any scheduling conflicts that would preclude you from participating in these trips. Next, you'll be asked to answer some additional questions that are important for how UNH Cooperative Extension reports its activities to our funding partners. You'll then be asked to review the information you've entered and finalize your registration by entering your payment information. You must complete your payment information with a credit card at the time that you register. Most of the registration steps are similar if you select I request a scholarship as your participant type. After you choose whether you will participate in online lessons only or online lessons and field trips, you'll be asked to enter the registration fee that you're able to afford in $5 increments. Leave the drop-down menu at zero if you want to pay $0. You will then enter your field trip selections if you're participating in field trips. And when you get to the page where you enter additional information, the first question asks, do you need a certificate of completion with your registration? Answer yes if you need certificates of completion for the course. Answer no if you don't need certificates of completion for the course. Again, I thank you for your interest in this course, and I look forward to birding with you soon.